Hey guys! Welcome to another YouTube video. So today I will be talking about commissions. Basically all the do's and don'ts and everything that you should know if you want to start commissions. First of all, what is a commission? A commission is a customized artwork that someone pays you to do. So someone will tell you, I want you to draw a rainbow horse flying in the sky and you will draw that. So when can you start doing commissions? You can do commissions whenever you feel like it. I did my first commission in, let me check. I, I published my first commission sheet in 2013. So that's six years ago. How old was I in 2013? <laughs> I was 17, that's not right, no. Oh, that makes no sense. I was not 17. Oh my God, I was 17. That's terrible art for when I was 17. All right, okay, I was 17 when I first published my... That can't be right. It, this can't be right. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, so apparently I did my first commission sheet in 2013. I will um, put a little picture here of the sheet. Let's see how much I uh, charged for them. Uh, the most expensive one is 750 points. Let's see how many, how many dollars are 750 points. So it says here that 400 points equal five dollars. For, for a full uh, painted, full body commission, so I, I charge less than ten dollars for that. Yeah, that's really underpriced. So obviously, as you can see, my art in my first commission sheet is not that great. Not a single person commented on my uh, commission sheet post or asked for a commission. I don't think I got my first commission until I was like 19, so that was two years of uh, having commissions open but no one wanting them. So if you're opening them for the first time, you know, it's okay if no one, if no one's asking. If you're worried they're too overpriced, no they're not, I'm actually going to explain how you should price your commissions in a bit. But yeah, um, sometimes it takes a little bit of time and you just need to get better at art and like have a bigger following for people to notice you and want to commission you. So how much should you price them? All right, so if you literally have no idea what to price them, you should research the minimum hourly wage in your country, calculate how many hours that piece of art takes you, and then you take the minimum hourly wage times it by the hours you worked on it, and that's your commission prices. Minimum wage is the absolute minimum that you should be pricing your work. Art is not a minimum wage job. It's a luxury service. Doing customized artwork for someone. It's not like art prints where, you know, you as an artist, you draw whatever you like, and then you offer it as a print where you just print this one illustration as many times as you want. Of course, you can charge a little bit less for that because every time someone buys that drawing, you don't have to draw it again. It's just a print of what you already did. If someone complains about your prices being too expensive, they're obviously not valuing your work. So you need to ignore them because you are the person who gets to decide how much your art is worth. These are the things you should factor in in your commission prices is how many years of experience do you have? Do you have any professional experience? If you work in the art industry, you should charge more since you are a professional artist. Um, did you take any art education? How much demand is there for your art? Obviously all of these things will increase over time. The years you spend drawing will keep growing. Education also can grow, professional experience grows. So every six to 12 months, you should be increasing your prices. Another good way of finding out how much you should be charging is by checking the price lists of your friends or of artists who have a similar skill and following as you and then comparing and seeing how much they're charging and then you can charge the same. Last year, I had 600 followers and my prices were, they were very, very low. And over the past year, I've grown a lot. And all my friends, they were telling me, you need to, you need to charge way more. And to charge as much as my friends, I had to double my prices. And I did, and I was so scared. I honestly, I thought people would be complaining at me. I thought no one wants to commission me anymore. It was very, very scary for me, but it went okay. I still get commissions. It's not as many as before, but because of the price difference, that's okay. It makes up for it. Another important thing is by making your commissions 
incredibly low. You're actually, you're devaluing the art industry prices. This is something that a lot of uh, older professionals told my class at university when you're going into the industry. When you're accepting a lower wage, you're making it harder for everyone else who wants a fair wage to get that fair wage. If everyone charges what their art is actually worth, no one will be undervalued. So how can you make it commission cheap? There's loads of ways to do it. It depends what kind of commissions obviously you want to sell. I sell three types of commissions. I sell portraits, which is from here to here. I sell waist ups, which is from the head to the waist. And I sell full body. What other people do, other people also sell sketches, line art and full color. So in those three stages, the prices will vary. If you want to do that, completely up to you. So in a commission sheet, you should have all the possible commissions someone can commission you and the prices. When someone asks me for a commission with two characters, I charge full price for the first and half price for the second. Okay, so what should your terms and conditions be? So for me, I only accept email commissions. I want my customer to uh, email me and in the email it should have exactly what they want. Is it portrait? Is it waist up? Is it full body? How many characters? Any reference pictures? Poses? Clothes? Eye colour? Hair colour? The more information a client gives me, the easier it is for me to make them happy. After I confirm that I will do their commission, I expect the full payment to my PayPal. I will go into more detail about how to pay and uh, different ways to pay, but after that I will start the commission and I will do it in three stages. I will first do a very rough sketch because uh, if they want me to change anything there's no point in me spending a lot of time on it and then I have to change it anyway. I will send them that rough sketch for them to approve. If there are any things they don't like that's when they can tell me and I will solve it. When I finish the line art, I also send them a picture of the finished line art, but the kind of things they want me to change will lessen since I've already finalized so many things. When I color it, the only changes they can ask for are colors. I only allow up to three smallish changes. I will not restart a drawing completely. And after those three, three changes have been made, if they want any more changes after that, I will charge extra and the price will depend on what kind of mistake it is. The reason I have that rule in place is because sometimes I get very, very fussy customers who will ask for too many changes and it will make them realize that once they approve something, they've approved it. I'm, and I will let them know any huge changes, let me know in the rough. Don't wait until the color because once it's colored, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change the pose or the face or anything except for colors. Once the commission is finished, um, I ask the client for permission if I can post it on social media since it, they paid me to do the drawing. However, my client, they are allowed to post it anywhere they want. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they can make their profile picture. I just need to be credited. I don't want my customers to go around and claim that they did the drawing. They have the freedom to use it on social media. They can also print it out if they want to. They cannot resell it. Those are pretty much my rules. So how do you advertise your commissions? I would just make a post on Instagram, on Twitter, saying you're open for commissions, um, make a story, get the message out with it as much as you can. I get most of my commission requests once I've actually posted a commission and I say, here's a commission I did. So once you've done one, you can expect that a lot more will come in. How to ask for a commission. Like I said before, find out first how the artist wants to be contacted. Politely ask, hello, uh, I love your art. I would really like a commission from you. This is what I want. Insert description of the commission. Here's some reference pictures um, that I think could help you. It's also really nice when the customer did their own research on how much they will be paying. So they've looked at your commission sheet and they can see, okay, one character portrait is this amount plus half for the second character is this amount. So in the email they will say, I looked at your commission sheet. It says it should amount to this. Is this right? Looking forward to hearing from you, and that's the end. And then the artist will confirm everything if they're available. How to stay organized. So once you have all your commissions, you need to organize yourself and make sure that you're doing all the commissions in a reasonable time. So from doing commissions, I can tell you that doing more than 10 is a nightmare. You will be stressed out and you won't feel like you have any free time for yourself. For me, the highest comfortable number is five commissions at the same time. It's really exciting when you get a lot of commissions, but 
a lot of the time the customers will be there when you open your commissions again. If you accept too many commissions, you might not do your best in all of them because you're trying, you're rushing too much to get them all done. So accept a smaller number and do them well. Another thing I do is I have a Google Sheet where I have a table with um, the, the commission's name, the subject of the commission, the payment status if they've paid me or not, and my commission status. So I will, at the beginning, I will say not started. Then I'll say rough started, then um, rough finished, rough approved. And that way I know exactly what stage of the commission I'm in. I also like to color code my commissions. So they're red when they're not started, orange when the rough is finished, yellow when the clean is finished, and green when the color is finished. So with PayPal, there are three ways that you can ask for payment. The first one is through invoices. And basically where the invoice is, is it's a document that you send to your customer that says exactly what the commission is, how much they will be paying, when they should be paying, any terms of services. It's a receipt, so both of you can prove that there has been a business transaction, this commission is a service that you're doing, it's digital, there won't be a physical copy sent to them or anything like that. It's the safest way to handle payment through PayPal. If you're worried about being scammed, use the invoice method to get paid. The second way to use PayPal, I've never used this and I didn't know about this until now, is with a personalized link. And the link will be paypal.me slash your PayPal username and slash the number of what the price of the commission is. So just write 20 if it's $20, pounds or whatever, or 40 if it's 40 pounds or dollars. The last way is the way that I use it and it's with, it's just with email. Uh, you and your customer, you will exchange PayPal emails. So you'll go into PayPal, you go into send, you type in the artist's email address, you write in how much you'd be paying them, and then it will say review and send. And this is actually not something I've been doing, but I did some research and I should be doing this. So when you're on the page, um, it will be say sending to friends and family. You should click on it and click goods and services. And then when it says shipping address, click on your shipping address and type in not, applica not applicable if you're getting a digital commission. If you're getting a physical commission, then put your address so that they can send you the, the commission. And then you send it, and that's, that's it. Very easy. I live in England, so I use uh, pound sterling. And when someone in America, for example, they uh, ask me for a commission, they'll be using dollars. And the great thing about PayPal is that they will do the conversion for you, so I expect my customer to figure out if I'm asking for 20 pounds, how much is that in dollars? So they will send me dollars. PayPal will turn it into pounds. And then the conversion fee is given to the artist, not to the customer. So as an artist, you can charge that extra fee if you don't want to pay it. I don't do that. It's like a pound. It's not very much, so I can deal with it. And the last bit I'll be talking about is how to handle problematic customers. Luckily, I've done quite a few commissions and I have never had a incredibly problematic customer. I've had a few, very few fussy commissioners, but I've never had any huge problems. From my experience, getting scammed or getting into trouble isn't very likely. How to not get scammed? Expect full price at the beginning and um, use invoices if you're worried because that way you, you don't get into any trouble. How to politely turn down commissions if you're not comfortable drawing what they're asking. I usually, I will just say my commissions are full, I don't have time to draw that right now. You can also just say, you can be honest and say, I'm sorry, what you're asking is not something that I'm comfortable drawing and most people will respect both of those answers. And that's all I've got. I hope I've answered any questions that you had about commissions. If there's anything else, Ask it below in the comments and I will answer. I hope this helps. I hope your commissions go well. And have a lovely day. Until next time. Bye.